and just like that we're back for another episode or back for another day heading to Columbus again we actually came home last night we dumped the Roadster that's what happens when you take three cars up to the event so we brought the Roadster uh, Kyle drove the truck home and I'm back in the truck so day three another vehicle heading back out to the fairgrounds we're on the road early the sun is starting to come up so it's gonna be a shorter day we're gonna to try to show you some of the award winners today and maybe some of the cars driving through help low man rods load up the trailer get the 34 home and we're going to call it an official wrap for Columbus Good Guys 2023. So stay tuned for today's coverage, and we're gonna show you some of the award winners and great rides at this year's event. Well, we made it into Columbus. The cars are starting to roll in. It's very overcast and hazy, but that does not stop the fun. So we're at the Low Man Rods trailer. Hopefully you were all able to see the vehicles. We still have the blue truck here for sale. We have the 34, the 413 coupe, and then John Compton's Sweet 34 here as well, a single scream, and then Al Glog's Male pickup truck, which is all decked out as well. So all these guys drove their hot rods up. Uh, we're all Ohio based, but uh, hopefully you stop by the Low Man Rods trailer. He does have shirts here as well, the Root Beer Float. So you can always order one of those at the Low Man Rods website or uh, give them a call for one of those. But pretty soon we're gonna walk around. We'll show a little bit more and hopefully we capture some of the cars coming through uh, for awards today. Okay, we're gonna walk around, show some cars and we're gonna show Todd Becker's brand new 32 sedan. Super cool. He drove it here outside Chicago. So it's a good long trip and they're heading out today. So we wanna capture it real quick before they take off. And then we're gonna show you that direction just the award winners builder's choice street machine of the year and other contenders so let's go so congratulations to todd becker on this one all steel 32 ford sedan got a few changes coming to it got all the luggage back in here ready to go home but just a cool driver So we'll walk up this direction. You'll see a lot of the award winners up here. All the flags kind of represent um, what awards that they are. So we'll show you those next.
So those groups were the street rod, the top five street rod of the year, and the top five street machine of the year winners. And amazing. So the Mustang that you just saw was the street machine of the year winner. And the very first car that you saw, the Burgundy uh, Shadow Rods Roadster that uh, Jesse Greening ended up finishing up uh, and doing so many one-off parts. That is your Street Rod of the Year winner uh, here at Columbus 2023. So we're gonna take you around a little bit more, just show you some of the other winners, Truck of the Year, Muscle Car of the Year, Home Built, Builder's Choice. So we'll get into those awards here next. So let's keep walking. So Truck of the Year here next. This car is amazing to me, a, a custom of the year. This is a finalist for that. It looks like he has another award, but you gotta check out this one. You may have seen this car before in some of our videos at Grand National Roadster Show uh, earlier this year. And you have to remember this car, right? Who doesn't know Cheese Whiz? Scott Sullivan's car. This car has been done, I think, 30 plus years. I had this car on a poster, I believe, on my wall when I was a kid. So, still Dayton, Ohio based. Amazing car. And we'll show you some of the graphics on the back as well. Noel's new truck, all steadfast, hot rods built on a full chassis, Don Hardy motor as well. So brand new chassis, Don Hardy motor, uh, very cool pickup truck.
Now, if you look back into the archives of our videos, you may have seen this one before, Johnson's Hot Rod Shop, when this car was actually being built, and you actually saw this engine in that video on an engine stand, and here are the twin turbos. <laughs> check out this thing very rare i think there's only a couple of these motors that exist this thing's all been gone through but with the twin turbo and it's built for a motorcycle to be able to go in the back of this so it's all slick has all the attachments let's look inside the finished product <laughs> so it's all stitched harley davidson so this is set up for the Harley, the back seats come out, but look inside the headliner and let's show you the back, all the metal work inside the doors. And then a motorcycle can come right up in here, but look at the finished, the details inside the body. Unreal Johnson's Hot Rods out of Gadsden, Alabama. This is it. This is the official wrap up of Good Guys Columbus 2023. We have the Street Ride of the Year contenders, 
the top five, the street machine. So the cars that we showed you earlier are now driving in and heading toward awards. So we'll get a good drive by here for you and you'll get to hear some of the cars and hopefully we don't have too much music in the background. So let's get some of these cars uh, rolling by.
beautiful. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Good. there you have it the rest of them are going to be waiting in line for a while <laughs> uh, they're slowly getting through the building but as they go through the building they'll announce the award winners give them their awards then they drive through the building and uh, that is it so now we are on just to go back we'll help low man rods hook up the truck trailer again if you like today's episode give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button we need you to subscribe to our channel we appreciate all your support and by all means visit our website opposingcylinders.com where we have 85 to 90 vehicles at any given time all across the country as well as in canada and other countries listed for sale find your favorite ride today and maybe even check out our instagram at opposing cylinders so until next episode we'll see you on the road and we appreciate you following <laughs>